although he's much older, he's at the last part of his career. Right. I compare the move for him from New England to Tampa, like it to Drew Brees when he left the Chargers and linked up. And went to New Orleans. Right. New Orleans. It was like he was with an okay, de- a decent system, but right. it's like Sean Payton was the perfect marriage for him. And it seems like Leftwich and Arians is just the perfect match for Brady. Correct. Perfect, man. Perfect. And it's like it just it's taking it's taking it to the room. Now, as far as yeah. match, I believe that outside of Brady, the two most because you brought it up with um Kyler Murray. Yeah. Two best matches, sports quarterback matches in offensive schemes to me is the um the uh Kansas City Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes. Right, right, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Kyler Murray. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Those Perfect. coaches Perfect. Are put their quarterbacks in the look like the perfect setup, perfect schemes. Yeah. And it yeah. o- and those schemes will only work for Kyle for those- Murray in Arizona and uh Patrick Mahomes in Arizona and um now listen Kansas City. You what you just said is a mouthful. That's coaching. When people talk about coaching doesn't matter, all the coaches does is put the players in positions to make great plays. That's why. Nagy and Chicago should have been fired last year. And it's amazing to me. And, and, and let me get on my soapbox right quick. Get on it. Please, please, give me, please give me 15 seconds. It's amazing to me that Matt Nagy has a job, right? And in and, and, and college and in the NFL, we keep recycling these retreads of Caucasian coaches Woo! that get fired every year that don't perform at a high level. We got five major power five college football openings right now. Talk about it. Only, and they will not, listen to me, they will not be a black hire. Talk will about not. it, man. They're going to retread. They keep, they keep talking about the same names every year. Every year, every year. Matt Bienemy, if I'm not mistaken, has how many Super Bowl rings? He's led one of the greatest offenses in the NFL. You don't even hear his name. You, you, nobody knows who he is. You uh, all of these coaches, and again, Matt Nagy in Chicago, the Giants. These guys are over their head, man. Let's be real. All we're asking for is an opportunity. That's it. All we want is an opportunity to do the same thing that you let Matt Nagy do. Right. That's all I'm asking for. Right. And and man, they Patricia. can say what they want to say. You you know they talked about Dion because they said, oh, he's all hype. He's bringing the drama. Dion is winning. Look at him. Dion is doing doing exactly what they asked you to do to be a head coach at a power five level, right? He's he's, he's taking a program that wasn't doing good. 60,000 people at an HBCU football game last weekend, right? Last week, 60,000 people. 60,000 people. (laughs) That's more than Georgia Tech had probably all year. And uh, US, uh, Florida State, and USF. Right, and he's winning. So now the, the job openings come up, and I only hear TCU is the only one he's interviewed for. Come on, man. This man is an NFL Hall of Fame cor- um, cornerback, played at the highest level. One of the greatest ever. And the only interview he can get, why is it he being talked about for Florida? Why is it he being talked about for USC? The only interview he can get is TCU. Because he because he's in, in the state of Texas and they know it. It's sad, man. It's sad. It's sad.